I feel, I think, really privileged, you know, this is something when I, you know, found my way into the industry, you know, you realise how small it is and how everybody knows everybody, but just getting in, that's the, that's the tough part, you know, and I think this is such a brilliant way to just enable kids a way in. I was really young, like, I was probably like 10 or 11, and I was like, Dad, I don't want to go Brit, I want to be a singer. And I remember him at the time being like, well, Ray, there's about one in probably 200,000 chance that you might make it, you know what I mean? And, but um, I kind of pushed on and it was something I was always in love with and something I always pursued, you know? So I got really, really lucky. I used to write, I used to come home from school when I was like 13, 14 and write songs with like my dad and his friend, like hundreds of songs, like just cheesy, silly, like little guitar ideas and stuff. And then, you know, through, through, it's just, I found a way in, you know what I mean? At 14, I met my manager who I'm still working with today and he was able to kind of get me some sessions on the weekends I would do after, on Brit, Saturday and Sunday and Fridays after school, I'd start writing. So it was kind of, I was just straight in. I mean, I like didn't go to any parties. I must have gone to like what, like Brit parties are like renowned for being like, you know, the parties. And I kind of, I kind of, you know, skipped a lot of it out and I just really, you know, had my head down and just pushed on, you know, and I guess, you know, it's a combination of like hard, hard work and then just luck, you know, finding them or meeting or being in the same place with the right people and just kind of like go and, for, go and talk to her instead of just shying away, just go and be, you know what I mean? And just, it's just, yeah, that's why I guess I, so now, we are where we are. Yeah, I don't, it, it, you don't, I don't really know, you know what I mean? It just hasn't really sunk in. I am, um, I'm always on to the next though, like I just like, you know what I mean, I'm like, I remember saying to myself two years ago, I just want to get cuts for other artists, you know, I really want to write for other artists, I really want to be known as a writer, not just a singer, um, and I was just studio day out, like day in, day out, till like 1am every night, you know, and I just got lucky, yeah. I guess my biggest inspirations, I grew up listening to like Nelly Furtado, Jill Scott, um, Nina Simone, Ella Fitzgerald, kind of like Natasha Benningfield, like female lyricists, you know what I mean, who really, really spoke and did things differently. And I think, you know, my uncle showed me Jill Scott when I was a little girl and I was listening to that and listening to the radio and I was like, why is she telling all these stories and all these weird details and I was just so... In entranced by that kind of stuff. So I guess, yeah, that was, they're kind of like my main influences. I, it sounds cheesy, but just really try and have no regrets. Like sometimes it's just that, you know what I mean? Like you'll be in a studio so many times and, and there'll be other people, other artists or other writers around and Sometimes you just gotta go and just go and talk to them. Even if they're like, who are you? Why are you talking to me? You know what I mean? Because that's how I've made so many contacts, so many close friends and open doors for myself. It's just by being that bit cheeky or finding that guy's email and email, you know what I mean? Get, you know, just be really annoying. I'd say, be really annoying. It's weird people knowing things about your knowing. It's just weird being recognized, I guess. I was in the car the other day and then like a cab was pulling up playing my song and they were all like, oh Ray! And then in my little Fiat, like what? You know, that that part really hasn't kind of, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm not used to that yet. The key I think uh, is a lyric. I think melody, melodies flow for ages, you know what I mean? You can be in a room with, you know, cool chords, melodies flowing, but I think the key to like, the best songs or the songs I respect the most is that just kind of like awkward lyric. You know what I mean? Like Ed Sheeran um, wrote, Lo love yourself. And it's the, yeah, my mama doesn't like you, but she likes everyone. That's just a lyric, you know what I mean? So it's like finding them little gems. I think that's just, you know, that's the most important thing I'd say.
I like boxing. I've yeah, I've started getting really into that. It's really fun. Um, I like watching movies, and I love food. So sleep, just yeah. all. I mean, I'm mostly doing this. You know what I mean? I just say you just gotta work at your craft, innit? it? Like. You want to be ready for that opportunity, that when that opportunity is there, you've prepared yourself, you know what I mean? I was talking to a vocal coach the other day and he was like, do you know what, this is the thing. I know that I've worked so hard on my craft that if I'm given the opportunity, I'll smash it out of the park. And that's, I think, what you just need to make sure that you're always ready for that door. Yeah.